I'm the owner of the Mercedes Benz uh, W114. Uh, he's also known as Eliza. So uh, the story behind it, I got the car in uh, somewhere early 2007, I would say, and it was a complete restoration. This is my first car, and this is what I learned my way through the industry. <music> to know about everyone whom I know up to date as well as everything that I know about cars and uh, so this particular car is uh, how I got it was uh, an average Mercedes-Benz W115 petrol uh, with time I have converted into being a W114 um, so particularly how this acts as a guideway in everything that I do as well as uh, I work in automotive industry as well, so the passion for cars have helped me uh, do what I love rather than do a 8 to 5 job. So this is what got everything started as far as cars, as far as passion, as far as everything that is. <laughs> If I go into depth about how things have evolved and what I have done to it is basically it's a 114 conversion from a 115 so it's running different lights, bumpers and the biggest difference or the biggest eye catcher for this car is it's being slammed it's almost on the floor it's about I would say two inches from the ground the ground clearance so I would say this was the first car in Sri Lanka to be on a static slam as much as this is. practical car it's not something you can drive on a daily basis because it can only be driven on carpet and very paved roads but then again it is what it is so the beauty is the fact that it's been lowered and it's a show piece. Wrapping it up, basically uh, the car as far as the modifications as far as what I have done to it uh, is basically only for cosmetic purposes at least for now but I have huge plans for it, planning on putting a better engine, getting it on air ride and uh, kind of focusing on a performance view as well but at least for now it's mostly uh, cosmetic purposes only. Last but not least, I uh, would like to take a second to thank everyone who helped me to get this car to where it is. Uh, I would like to start off with Bino Dias, who actually did most of the cosmetic as well as most of the mechanical work because this car was not what it is now when I bought it about 10 years ago. So it was a complete project. So starting from day one, help that was given to me by Bino is uh, beyond words. So a big thank you to him and his team, as well as uh, a special thanks to uh, Givant Sam, as well as Malik Fonseca in motivating me and giving me the support to uh, embrace the lowered culture, if I may, because I would consider them to be the godfathers of lowering cars, at least in my opinion. So would like to give a special thanks to them, as well as uh, Everyone and anyone who had helped me by their kind words or by their efforts.
uh, conclusion, a big thank you from the bottom of my heart. And also a special thank you to the crew at uh, Wheels on Media for giving me the opportunity. And yeah, thank you. Thank you.